What a beautiful day it is today. I need to go see my friend Mikey. I hope I meet him. Hey, JJ, I've been good, thanks. Come on in. Thanks. It's been a while since I've been over. Your place looks great. Appreciate it, man. Have a seat. So, what's new with you? Not much, just the usual grind. By the way, I noticed you mentioned something about gaining weight? Yeah, you caught that, huh? I've been hitting the snacks a bit too hard lately. The quarantine life isn't doing my waistline any favors. Mikey, I couldn't help but notice the impressive cake collection you've got going on here. What's the occasion? Oh, hey, JJ. No occasion, really. I just have a bit of a sweet tooth, you know? A little overboard? Mikey, there's enough cake here to feed a small army. You might want to balance it out with some fruits and veggies, you know, for the sake of your health. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's just, I've already spent all my extra cash on these delicious masterpieces. Priorities, right? Mikey, seriously, what if we bury all these cakes in the backyard? It could be our own secret cake graveyard. That's a creative solution, JJ. But I don't think my neighbors would appreciate the aroma of buried cakes wafting through the neighborhood. Plus, I'm not ready to say goodbye to them just yet. Mikey, it looks like the healthier options are a bit out of our budget. How about we start small? I'll grab you an apple. They say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, right? An apple? Come on, JJ. I appreciate the gesture, but I don't think I can survive on apples alone. It's just a start, Mikey. We can figure out a more balanced plan later. Besides, apples are delicious and a good source of nutrients. Give it a shot. It's the only way, JJ. If I can't enjoy my cakes, then this apple doesn't stand a chance either. You do realize this is a bit extreme, right? I thought we were just trying to find a healthier balance. Hey, Carl, this is the place. Mikey's house. Word of the street is he's got a ton of valuable stuff in there. Nice. Let's make this quick. I heard he's got some serious cake stash. That's what we're here for. Jackpot. Look at all these cakes. Mikey's living the sweet life, literally. This guy has more cakes than a bakery. We hit the dessert motherload. Seriously, it's like he's been hoarding them for the apocalypse or something. Let's bag him up and get out of here. You know, I think Mikey's gonna be more upset about losing these cakes than anything else. Yeah, we just pulled off the sweetest heist in town. Mikey's gonna wake up to a sugarless morning. You think we should leave him one? A parting gift, you know? Mikey, what's going on? Why are you sitting here crying? JJ, it's a disaster! Some bandits broke into my place and stole all my cakes! Every last one of them! Bandits? Seriously? Who would steal cakes? I have no idea, JJ. It's like they had a sweet tooth crime spree or something. They took all my precious desserts! That's awful, man. I'm so sorry. Did you see who they were? Have you called the police? No, I didn't get a good look at them. I was too busy drowning my sorrows in my cake haven. And yeah, I've called the police. But what are they gonna do about stolen cakes? True, but we'll figure this out, Mikey. We'll find those cake bandits and make them pay. In the meantime, let's grab some coffee and talk about how we can make things right. Thanks, JJ. I appreciate it. I never thought I'd be this devastated over stolen cakes, but here we are. Mikey, I know it's tough, but maybe we should take this cake crisis as a sign to start focusing on healthier choices. How about we grab a quick bite, maybe an apple, to lift your spirits. You know what, JJ? That sounds like a good idea. Let's do it. Yeah, surprisingly. Thanks, JJ. Maybe I needed something other than cakes for once. Now, how about we kick it up a notch? What do you say we hit the gym? It'll be a great way to clear your mind and get some positive energy flowing. Mikey, I've been thinking, how about I get you a gym membership? It might be a good way to take your mind off things and focus on something positive. All right, Mikey, let's hit those weights. We're not just building muscles, we're building a fortress of resilience. You got it, JJ. No more cake bandits or anyone else messing with us. This is not just about physical strength. It's about mental toughness, too. We're becoming the defenders. Absolutely, JJ. From now on, it's all about taking care of ourselves and making sure we're strong enough to face whatever comes our way. Mikey, you're looking great, my man. The gym sessions are paying off. Thanks, JJ. I never thought I'd say this, but working out actually feels good. All right, let's see what's happening here. Hopefully the police have some leads on those cake bandits. What kind of police are doing in our house? We need to find out. I won't tolerate her just being there. It's illegal. I don't want this to happen. It looks like they are busy with their own business. Let's not interfere alone so as not to lead to consequences. What do you think? Is this decision true? Hey, you two, are you here about the cake incident? Yeah, that's us. Any updates? We've been investigating, 
and it looks like there might be a lead. Some security cameras nearby caught a glimpse of two individuals leaving the scene with bags of cakes. All right, JJ and Mikey, welcome to Operation Sweet Justice. This cake theft ring has eluded us for a decade, and we believe your personal involvement can finally break the case wide open. Sweet Justice? I like the sound of that. But seriously, how did cakes become such a high-profile crime? These cake thieves aren't your average criminals. They've mastered the art of confectionery larceny, infiltrating homes under the guise of dessert enthusiasts. But there's more to it than just stolen sweets. This is more James Bond than I ever expected. Never thought I'd see the day when I'm dressing up as an agent. Let's hope we can pull this off. You'll be given cover stories to explain your sudden interest in the cake underworld. Mikey, perhaps you're a pastry chef looking for inspiration. Mikey, our mission is vital, but we also need to take care of our own business. How about we do a little side hustle to earn some cash? Our house needs repairs, and we could use the extra funds. You're right, JJ, let's do it. But how do we make money? Ever tried mining? We can buy a couple of shovels and pickaxes, head to the nearby mining site, and gather resources. People are always in need of ores and stones. Mining, huh? That sounds like an adventure. Let's give it a shot. Two shovels, two pickaxes, and a couple of mining helmets. We're in business. Here, keep some money. This money will help you buy your first pickaxe so that you can properly extract resources and not lose them since this is very important and depends on your ability to dig. All right, Mikey, let's get to work. We're on a mission for both justice and home repairs. Mikey, we've got a good thing going with this mining operation. What do you say we take it to the next level and aim to strike it rich? Our home repairs could turn into a full-blown home upgrade. I like the sound of that, JJ. Let's see if we can dig up some rare and valuable resources. Maybe there's a treasure hidden beneath these rocks. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. We're not just mining for repairs now. Mikey, we've struck gold, both literally and figuratively. Our inventory is packed with precious resources. Let's hit the city and make a fortune. I can't believe our little mining operation turned into this. It's like we're on our way to becoming mining tycoons. Gold, gems, rare stones, the whole package. We're here to make a deal. You two have really outdone yourselves. These are top quality materials. I'll give you a handsome sum for the lot. This is incredible. We're going to be swimming in coins. Our home repairs just turned into a full-scale renovation project. And who knows? Maybe we'll treat ourselves to something nice too. Mikey, we've got a pocket full of coins. And I can't think of a better time to dive into the Cake Bandit investigation. Let's get to the bottom of this mystery once and for all. I'm with you, JJ. It's time to use our newfound resources to bring justice to the world of stolen cakes. Let's roll, partner! Time to catch these cake thieves and put an end to their sugary crime spree! Our mining venture might have taken us on an unexpected detour, but now we're back on track to solve the case. And with these uniforms, we're not just civilians anymore. We're officers on a mission. Mikey, look at this. The trail of scattered cakes seems to lead straight to that massive building. Could this be the Cake Bandit's hideout? It certainly looks suspicious. And check out those guards at the entrance. Something big must be going on inside. We need to get a closer look without alerting the guards. Let's find a way to sneak past them. This is more serious than I thought. We need to find a way inside without raising suspicion. Mikey, it looks like we've stumbled upon an abandoned building. The cake bandits might have been using it as a decoy to throw us off. So, the cakes were just a distraction? This is getting more confusing by the minute. We might not have found the cake bandits this time, but we can't give up. We need to regroup, gather more information, and find out who's really behind the stolen cakes. You're right, JJ. Let's head back, analyze the evidence, and come up with a new plan. There has to be some clue we missed. We need to find out who's been pulling the strings in this sweet crime. A secret society of cake pranksters? This is getting weirder. Mikey, what's going on? Why are you down here? And why are they force-feeding you cakes? JJ, they caught me snooping around. They said I was interfering with their sweet plans. Hang in there, Mikey. I'll find a way to stop this. JJ, I think... I think I've had one cake too many. You thought you could stop our cakey schemes? Think again! Mikey, we need to get you out of here. This is absurd. Mikey, we need to find the developer behind these cakes and put an end to this madness. Can you walk? I'll manage, JJ. Let's find this guy and get some answers. Look, Mikey, that's the guy we're looking for. The one responsible for turning innocent pranks into a cakey nightmare. Let's track him down and make him undo whatever he did to these cakes. 
No one messes with our desserts like this. This must be where the cake developer is hiding. Get ready, Mikey. You can start by explaining why you turned our friend into a walking cake factory. Harmless? Do I look like I'm having a harmless time right now? You bet it'll take time, and we're not leaving until Mikey is back to his normal self. Mrs. Mikey, we're on a mission to find the person responsible for these cake pranks. Do you have any idea who the cake developer might be? Cake developer? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. It's those cake pranksters, hun. They turned our investigation into a crazy cake-filled ordeal. Excuse me, folks. We're trying to find information about a cake developer or anyone making unique cakes. Have any of you heard or seen anything unusual lately? Cake developer? Nah, doesn't ring a bell. Thank you so much. Let's check out Old Granny Baker's Bakery. Maybe she has some information about the cake developer. Old Granny Baker? We never considered her. Where can we find her? You're the cake developer? Why turn our investigation into a cake-filled misadventure? I wanted to spice things up a bit, add a dash of sweetness to the town's routine, but I see it got a little out of hand. A little? I turned into a walking cake factory! I didn't mean for it to go that far. Look, I can make it right. I have a potion that will reverse the effects. Here you go, Mikey. You expect me to drink this? How do I know it'll work? Well, Granny Baker, your little cakey adventure caused quite a stir. But I suppose all's well that ends well. Well, Mikey, it looks like our cakey quest has come to an end. No more unexpected transformations or mischievous pranks. Yeah, I'm all for a little excitement, but turning into a cake factory was a bit much. I'm glad we sorted it out. Well, Mikey, it seems the town might take some time to forget our cakey adventures. Who cares? We had a memorable adventure, and that's what counts. We're calling it quits on the magical stuff for now. Just a regular cake this time, please. Well, Mikey, I never thought investigating stolen cakes would lead to magical pranks and potions. Life is full of surprises, JJ. At least we can say we've had one sweet adventure. What's next on our agenda, Mikey? Any more mysteries, or are we taking a break from detective work? Let's keep our options open. Who knows what the town has in store for us? But maybe no more cakes for a while. Oh, well, I guess I've joined the Cakey Transformation Club. At least I won't be alone in this. Looks like the cakes are striking back, JJ. 